Hey guys, my name is Daniel and in this video, I will show you how to apply to OutSchool and get hired. I teach on OutSchool, but I also work as a referral coach and mentor to other teachers who want to work on OutSchool too. I would strongly recommend that you use a referring teacher or coach to help you through the process. If you want that person to be me, you can use the link in the description below when you apply to OutSchool. I provide free one-on-one -on -one coaching through Zoom with all my referrals, and I give you a lot of resources to help you along the way. Just make sure you shoot me an email, that way I know that you are my referral. When you sign up to the OutSchool website using my link, just make sure that you see my picture pop up, that way we are connected on the OutSchool website. You do not need any teaching credentials or even a college degree to work on OutSchool. It's an awesome opportunity to teach whatever you're passionate about, and it really has been a life changer for me. After you sign up for an OutSchool account, you're gonna to go to the right side of the screen and click your profile picture. Next, you'll click Teach. You'll click this big blue button that says Take OutSchool 101. This should only take you a few minutes. You'll read some information, watch some videos, and you'll be good to go. After that, you'll click this button that says Visit this page to start your application. I recommend checking out this link that says Learn more about how to create a great application here. It has a lot of do's and don'ts, gives you an idea of what they're looking for. Fill out your public teacher name. This is the name that parents and students will see. I use my first and last name for this, but some teachers go with Mrs. Jones or Mr. Jones, Teacher John, Teacher Mary. Next is where you'll enter your full legal name. This will only be viewable by the OutSchool team. Throw your phone number and location on to complete the basic information section. Your next task asks you to please list all of the experience you have teaching or working with youth, whether as a professional, a volunteer, or in your personal life. Our teachers come from a variety of professional backgrounds. Share anything you think we should know. Be specific with how long you've worked with youth, the subjects you've taught, and the ages of learners you've worked with. So my two most important tips for this question is to make sure you're answering the questions and also be concise. You don't want to list things like a resume. I like to write full sentences for these questions, although I have seen some people have success with bullet points. The next section asks you to please list any academic degrees, teaching credentials, current or expired, professional training, or other relevant professional certifications you hold. We do not require degrees to teach on OutSchool. Include anything that will help us learn more about your background. Please include year, subject, and state or institution. Again, be concise, but make sure you're answering these questions. Next section is optional if you wanna add your professional website or social media pages. Step three, tell us about your classes. Our school teachers create their own classes. What topics are you passionate about teaching? Which ages of learners do you want to work with? What experience or expertise do you have in these subject areas? It's fine to share high level topics here, no need to have the perfect class title, need help coming up with ideas, check out our list of recent topic requests here. For this section, you can pick something academic, you can pick something a little bit more fun, but make sure it's something you really are passionate about. Also remember that in step four of the application, you're going to record a sample video of you teaching this class. Again, I can't stress this enough, but be concise and answer exactly what they're asking you. The Owl School staff does not want to read a wall of text and a bunch of paragraphs mushed together. Be short to the point, but be thorough and explain your answers. Next section says, now that you've told us what you want to teach, let us know what your class will look like. Write a sample class description below. You should write this description as though it is for prospective families. Include information about what you will teach, how you will teach it, and what learners should expect from class time. This field is only for our team and will not be published on the site. This section should be at least a paragraph long, not sure where to start. Check out our sample class listings for new teachers. I'll share with you a class description from one of my successful OutSchool classes. It's titled Sports Math Word Problems. So some things that you definitely want to include is that it is a one-time class the age levels of the students and what they're going to be doing. My goal is to create a meaningful, comfortable social learning environment where students discuss interesting topics and connect with each other. We will begin with introductions and an explanation of the course. We will talk about how to read and analyze word problems, 
students will solve problems and explain their reasoning. Math can be frustrating, however, it can be fun when it's connected to something fun and relatable. Students will have plenty of opportunities to share their input and listen to others. That's my class description. Again, it's short, it's to the point, but it answers the questions that Owl School is asking. Step four, teach us something. Record a three to five minute video where you teach a sample of the class you described above. This video will stay private and will not be visible to families. It's a way for our team to get a quick read on who you are and the kind of teaching environment you'll provide to Owl School learners. You should show us and show off the space where you will teach, show us your teaching personality, share your expertise, teach us something that you are excited to share with learners on OutSchool. I like to record the video on my phone and then upload it to my computer separately. However, you can record it straight from your computer's webcam on the OutSchool website. Now this part might feel a little bit awkward and strange because you're talking to imaginary students, but OutSchool wants to see that you encourage student interaction. So even though there's nobody in your room, just pretend to call on students and make sure to get them involved. Now, when I applied to OutSchool, they didn't require this type of video, but here's the video I would have created if I had to apply now. Hi everyone, welcome aboard. My name is Teacher Daniel. Welcome to Sports Math Word Problems. I see we have Jonathan, Micah, Kristen, Lewis, and Joseph. Happy to have you guys with us. So let's get started. I wanted to start class out today by asking you a question. What are some examples of times where we see numbers in sports? Can anyone think of any times where we see numbers in sports? Jonathan, go for it. Awesome, really good point, Jonathan. We see numbers on the backs of players' jerseys, right? So numbers can be used to identify things, awesome. Uh, let's see, we'll go to Micah next. Very good, Micah. So we use numbers to tell us the score of the game, right? Who's winning, who's losing. Without numbers, we wouldn't really know. So awesome job, Micah. And we'll go to Kristen next. Oh, that's a good point. Kristen said that we use fractions in sports a lot of the time. Example I can think of is in basketball, you can say, this player has made five eighths of his free throws. So that's a very good point. A lot of good examples from you guys. I wanted to ask you another question. Since this class is all about word problems, what are some tips and tricks that you use, whether you're in school or doing homework? When you're doing a word problem, what are some, some tips and tricks you could share with us? Uh, we'll go to Lewis next. Oh, that's a great tip. So Lewis likes to circle key words in the problem. That's a very good point. All right, we'll go to Joseph. Nice, all right. So Joseph likes to draw pictures to help him get a sense of it. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm a very visual learner, so I like to see pictures too. I'm not a great artist, but if I can draw some kind of sketch, just something to give me an idea, it helps a lot. Good point, Joseph. And Jonathan. Oh, Jonathan likes to show his work. You know, as a teacher, that is a great thing to hear. It's always important to show your work because then if you get it wrong, or even if you get it right, you can look back in the math problem and kind of navigate your way through and kind of play detective a little bit and see all the steps. So that is a great point. Anyone else? Yes, Kristen. Excellent. Check your work. Yeah, so that's a little different from show your work, right? Yes, you want to show it, but you want to double check, make sure you did everything correctly. So a lot of good points from you guys. So in general, make sure you are positive, you're energetic, but also be concise and answer those questions directly throughout the application. So those are things that you should do, but here are five things to avoid. Tip number one. Don't give up. Getting approved on OutSchool takes time. I've had referrals who have gone through five or six applications before they finally got approved. If you got denied by OutSchool, it doesn't mean that it's over. You can still apply again and try your luck out a second time. Tip number two, don't be afraid to ask for help. There are so many great referring teachers out there who want to help you. You can also join Facebook groups and talk to other teachers that are approved and are trying to get approved as well. Tip number three, don't be fake. A lot of my referrals come from an online ESL 
background and you may be used to teaching with your hands, giving a lot of thumbs up, using different tones of voice constantly. That's okay, but just remember that most students on OutSchool speak English. Be energetic, but don't be so over the top that it comes across as disingenuous. Tip number four, don't be boring. I know this sounds a little bit cruel, but it's important to try to stand out on OutSchool. There are tons of people who know math, language, arts, science, social studies. You wanna do something that makes you unique and makes you stand out. In my sample video we just went through, I didn't just do word problems, I did sports word problems. If you're teaching a grammar lesson for your application, maybe do superhero grammar or grammar with animals. Try to do something to make your application stand out. Tip number five, don't forget to proofread. Some of my referrals have awesome applications, but they get rejected because of a few typos or grammatical errors. In addition to proofreading your own work, make sure you send it to a friend, family member, your referring teacher, so they can take a look at it too. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Remember to use my link if you want me to be your referring teacher and I will see you next time.